the amount of uh, you know boxing you were exposed to as a kid through your dad. Give me your favorite Ali story. When did you first meet him? When did did you, did you did you just walk into the house one day and he's sitting there in the living room? Did that happen? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I, I remember I remember him being around. My first memories, though, I remember going to see him at his home in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. I think that would have been around seventy four, seventy five. I was only four or five, but I remember it. And then I remember spending time around him in the Catskills when he was training for one of the Ken Norton fights. You know, he fought Norton three times. I don't remember which one specifically. Mm -hmm. Um, And so, you know, he was kind of a constant presence around. You know, he he and my dad were so close. My dad knew him before he went to Rome as an 18-year-old to fight in the Olympics. When he gets back from Rome, you know, he's coming through New York. My father was at Newsweek. They spent the whole day together. My father spent the night in Ali's suite. My father had to... Uh, um, have Ali call his wife at the time, his first wife, to uh, you know to vouch for him that he was actually with the champ, um, <laughs> that he wasn't doing something he shouldn't have been doing. Uh, but but there's so many great Ali stories. I mean, the two that immediately come to mind. Sure. One uh, <clears throat> one uh, and, and my dad had a lot. One is uh, uh, 1969, early 70. My father's with Tom Seaver. He's just written a book with Tom Seaver. Tom Seaver's arguably the biggest star in sports at that point, the Miracle Mets, he was 25 and 5, I guess, or 25 and 3, whatever it was. He wins the Cy Young Award, he wins the World Series, all that stuff. He's written a book there on a promotional tour there in Chicago where Muhammad was living at the time. He was banned from boxing at the time, fighting that fight. They get to Chicago, my dad says, Hey, you want to go have dinner? You know, with Muhammad, Seaver says, of course, I'd love to meet Muhammad Ali. They go out to dinner. They have one of these big dinners for hours at some steakhouse, and Ali's holding court. He's telling stories. He's talking about himself in the third person. <laughs> and finally, at the end of the night, they're wrapping it up. They're paying the check. Muhammad turns to Tom Seaver, and he says, Tom, you're a nice fellow. What paper you write for? <laughs> 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 no idea who Tom Seaver was. <laughs> Tom didn't get to say anything during the whole dinner. Fantastic. Uh, Ali just assumed that he was a newspaper guy like my dad. <laughs> That's fantastic. And then uh, one that I was actually there for, uh, my dad and I happened to be tagging along. My dad and Ali were watching the second Tyson-Bruno fight. I think it was 95, something like that, right after Tyson got out of prison. And uh, my dad, uh, there's, there are women fighting on the undercard which was a novelty at the time. And we're in New York watching on TV, and my father says to Ali, he says, Champ, what do you think about this, women fighting? And he takes a pause, and then at this point his voice, you know, was, was really husky, and he says, I only like it when they're fighting over me. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> and and that, was, that was Muhammad, the, old, the wit. The old it was time. always there. The great man. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.